Hi there, Internet Associate. It's Anthony, and I'm about to watch another episode of Dexter. So this is Season 3, Episode 2, Finding Freebo. So obviously we know where this is headed, you know, after the events of the first episode. Um, I guess we're going to continue on, obviously, with the story that they had going there with the whole Freebo guy who now is kind of um, on the run, I guess you could say. And he, I'm pretty sure he saw Dexter in that house. So um, that definitely makes you a little nervous about, you know, what might happen next time he sees Dexter or if he gets questioned or anything like that. So um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about that. I'm nervous about that, but I'm excited to see what they're going to have happen. And then, of course, Rita drop that bomb at the end of the episode like you know i guess she actually she didn't even just drop a bomb like she told it she just realized it right then realized that she's pregnant so can't wait to see where what's going to be i guess the next development in that story and also i'm just really excited because janet let me know that they're actually about to do a reboot or not a reboot but you know like a um revival of dexter for like a mini series on showtime for, I guess, another season, you could say. So, I'm really excited about that. I'm Don't worry, I'm not going to look at any of the spoilers or anything, I'm not, or any of the articles, because I know that would just be begging to, you know, spoil myself. So, I'm just going to take your word for it. But, yeah, I now I'm really excited to get through this so that when that does come out, I can be excited with everybody else and, you know, join in on the fun of watching this series being, you know, kind of revived and whatever they're going to do with the miniseries. So yeah, just overall very excited about this. Can't wait to see what's going to happen in this episode. So let's get into it. Dexter, Season 3, Episode 2, Finding Freebo. Right, that one was a doozy. Like, I kept on being like, what's about to happen? Is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Like, you can always feel like something, some type of major occurrence is about to happen or development. I'm like, where is this headed? Because what's his name? Um, now I can't remember his name. What Miguel Prado? Wait, every cop in Miami is tasked to find the future free boat who is accused him. Okay, yeah, Miguel Prado is the name of the DA, and Oscar Prado is the name of the guy that got killed. I know I probably just kept on calling Miguel Prado Oscar Prado this episode. So, yeah, that was my mistake. His name is Miguel Prado. I was getting them mixed up. So Miguel Prado has been like really this whole time I've been like does he know more than he's letting on maybe he just really doesn't and this has all just been happenstance I couldn't I, I really was feeling like he knew kind of what Dexter was but he was willing to put that to the side and just kind of like you know influence Dexter to do these certain things just to ultimately get Dexter to do this and, you know, that could still be the case. Maybe. Maybe he's acting right here. That could still be the case. I haven't completely ruled that out yet. But from what we're seeing here, it looks like that's not the case. And that this has just all been kind of coincidence and happenstance. And, you know, um, now he happened to get here with kind of maybe the same plan as Dexter, it sounds like, to kill this guy. But he found Dexter had done it already. And he was happy and like, yes, thank you. And all that. So, yeah, I mean, big, big development. Now somebody else knows that Dexter has killed someone. We don't know how much he knows. He like, I mean, I don't know if he knows any more than that. Like I say, he might know more than he's letting on. But we now know definitely that he knows that Dexter has murdered somebody. And he's a DA. Or an assistant DA. Whatever. So, yeah, like, huh. That's uh, That's pretty big. And we know what's happened to everybody that knows about Dexter murdering. I mean, luckily he doesn't know Dexter is a whole serial killer. But he knows, you know, he knows more than the average person now. So that's pretty, pretty wild. Rita and Dexter, I really love the way that this episode kept on, like, you know, relating everything back to a child, which was so cool. Like, Dexter's like, hmm, Tegan. What kind of name is Tegan? I wouldn't choose that name. I do. Da -da -da. They went to the all the children names and then the party Dexter's like is this what my kid is gonna be like it, it it was really it was really cool how they just kept on finding ways to bring that in and then the scene of Dexter fantasizing about it 
and his child being with Cody and Aster and him kind of keeping them at the age that they are now or whatnot. Probably because Dexter's like, you know, he he seems like the type of person that is really into like, you know, just the system of things and how things are. And so like imagining them like being older and how, what it would be like dealing with them then or dealing with his child at a much younger or older age was just too crazy for him. So he just placed the child around the same age as Aster and Cody. But then he also imagines him as a killer too. And that he kill Aster. Like, it's just crazy how Dexter's mind works. Like, he cannot have a single peaceful or just regular thought, it seems like. Everything is always just, you know, informed by or influenced by the way that he, you know, looks at the world and the way he sees the world. Like, he can't help but see things through kind of this dark lens. I guess that's his dark passenger in a way. So, that was pretty yeah, It's like... That's got to be, that's got to suck, like, being scared to have a child because you're worried they're going to be a killer like you. Like, it's like, I really hope that next episode they finally at least tell us what's going on with this Quinn thing or give us some type of clue or hint because it's starting to be like, oh, my gosh. I mean, it's only been two episodes, though. It's only been two episodes. But it's starting to be like, oh, my gosh, what is it? Like, what has he done? Like, why won't this lady just say it? Why does she keep on being like, if you help us, Quinn, you'll get the shield. Da, 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 da. Why not tell us, why not tell her why she should help you? Like, what, what did Quinn do? Like, I mean, I, I guess she doesn't just want to put that information out everywhere. But it's like, at the same time, how can you expect her to want to get involved with something like this? When she does it. <sighs> I'm just yawn. At the same time. How can you expect her to want to get involved with something like this when she doesn't even know what it really is and what she's about to be getting herself wrapped up into? It doesn't really seem conducive to getting the help that you want. So often on Dexter, we find that these characters that we love and want the best for and want to be happy, they always have these conflicting interests, if you will. It's like a conflict of interest between the characters. Like, if Dexter tells them, tells, you know, Angel about what he knows and Deb, what he knows, that's a big win for them. Like Angel's, you know, the new sergeant, he's Sergeant Batista now, and he he really needs a break on this case. And it's like, we know that Dexter knows. We're like, oh, dang, Dexter, just throw him a little bit of a bone just so he feels better about himself and, you know, like can show like Lieutenant LaGuerta that he can do this. Same with Deb. It's like, come on, just give her a little bone. Tell her something, but then at the same time, it's like, we know he can't tell them anything because then that won't be good for Dexter at all. Like, cause that could just help them trace things back to him. So it's like, you want Dexter to win, but you want Angel to win too. You want Deb to win too. You want LaGuerta to win too. And it's like, oh my gosh, why is everybody like, it's like, everybody can't be happy on this show. No matter what, like last season, I wanted Dexter and Dokes to be okay, but there was just no way that could happen. Everybody can't be happy on this show, even when they're, you know, ostensibly on the same side. They think they're all working together, but we know the truth. I'm glad that Rita is deciding to keep the baby. And like I said, I guess that's nice that she's giving Dexter that out or whatever. That's interesting. I really do hope that Dexter doesn't take it, though. Like, um, I want for Dexter to have this child and be, you know, be in the child's life and everything. And I mean, I think... I don't know. I mean, it's weird, though, at the same time. At the same time, I'm like, maybe it would be best for Dexter to take out. Not even for Dexter, but for the child. Like, having a serial killer as a father, eh, is not the best way to grow up. Because it's like, what if he finds out one day? Like, how's that going to make him feel? Like, I don't know. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I don't know. It's like, I want Dexter to be there for the child and to, like, raise him and for him to have a father in his life and, like... For Dexter to have this experience too, it might help him. But at the same time, as always, I'm like with Dexter, it's like I want the best for Dexter, but sometimes the best for Dexter isn't the best for everyone else. And I gotta remember in a real world situation, the best for everyone else is a lot more important than the best for the serial killer, <laughs> if we're being honest. Like, uh, I don't want, like, uh, that could, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't want, you don't want a child to have, you know, to find out their father's a serial killer or to be influenced by a serial killer, which I don't think would happen, but I don't know. So, it, for Dexter's sake, though, and for the child's sake, I do kind of hope that Dexter keeps him. Or not keeps him, but stays in his life, I should say. He is being kept by Rita. And Freebo's out of the way now, but a bigger issue has come because now there's blood all over 
um, Miguel Prado's shirt. So that's definitely about to put us in some more sticky situations. As always, Dexter, the character and the show, ne things will never just be easy. You know what I mean? Like, it's always going to be tough. Like, the show manages to find a way to throw new conflicts in at every turn when you least expect it. Never get comfortable. Things always, and this is only episode two. It feels like more than two episodes have happened of this season. So much has happened so far, it seems like. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where they're going to take us from here. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you're watching this on YouTube, head over to Patreon for the full reaction to the episode rather than like just a review. And that'll be it. I'll see you all later. Have a good one.